Hi Henry's House friends, welcome back to our seventh art lesson. Today our art lesson is kind of a long one, so if you don't have the time, maybe do it later. We are going to be marbling paper, so see how this has a little bit of rainbow on it. This one is multicolored. And then after we marble this, we're going to glue it on some paper and send it to someone. So. Maybe you want to send it to a friend or your aunt or uncle or your grandma or a cousin maybe that would want to see some of your awesome artwork and you can write them a little note or draw them a little picture and send them some mail. So for today's lesson, you're going to need some black and white paper, some scissors, you can grab a glue stick or tape is fine. Those are my completed ones. You need some toothpicks. I have flat ones, but any kind of toothpick is fine. And then I just have a regular size bowl with some water in it. And I filled it up to about there. So there's a little bit of room on top. And our last material is nail polish. For the black one, you're only gonna use clear nail polish but for the ones that we do on white paper, you can use any color. So first, I'm gonna take my black paper and I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut it into some smaller pieces that will fit inside of my bowl because we're gonna dip these in. So I'm just gonna do some little rectangles like this size. You could do however many you want. I have four right now, and I'm gonna do the same thing with my white paper. I'm gonna cut it into my little rectangle shapes that will fit in my bowl. That one's a little big. You can trim them down, or you could use a way bigger bowl, and you wouldn't have this cutting issue. You could do a whole size piece of paper. But I like the idea of doing them small and then gluing them on to a little card that you can send to someone. So I'm just going to cut my whole piece of white paper. Alright, so step one is done after you have all your little squares of paper. Okay, so our first one we're going to do with black paper. And remember from the beginning we had our clear nail polish? So I'm going to unscrew the lid and I'm gonna let one drop fall right in the middle. There was my one. Now I'm gonna take my black paper, I'm gonna press it down and really get it, get it submerged, it will dry, so it's all right. All right, so it curls a little bit, but when it goes like that, you can see our little rainbow. So I see a lot of my rainbow over here and on the edges by my left thumb, so this is our first one on black paper. I'm gonna set this to the side and let it dry. All right, so our next one, we're gonna use our white paper. And for this one, you can use any of your colors of nail polish. Miss Amy has three daughters, me included, so we have tons of nail polish. So my first one, I'm just gonna make sure I get a lot on my brush, lift it up, and let it drop in. Takes a little, oh, that one fell through. Okay, my next color is this orange color. So you get a big drop, and I'm just gonna let it fall onto my page. All right, see I've got it over there. Well, I really like this orange color, so I'm gonna add another one to this side. Remember, you gotta get a lot of nail polish on there. You can tap it on the side of your bowl if it's not falling right away. There we go. Now I'm gonna go for some yellow. Remember, you wanna get a lot of nail polish. That has a nice big glob on it. Maybe I'll do another yellow on the other side, just like that. Then, of course, classic pink. Let me get that. That didn't have enough. So you wanna make sure you get a lot on your brush or it won't fall. Oh, 
And there's my pink dot. Okay, here's another cool color I have. Some purple. Ooh, this one's brand new, so I can make a lot of dots with this one and they will come right out. That was a good one. All right, so now I'm going to take my toothpick and I'm just gonna drag it through some of these colors. Some of them seem to have already dried, but that's okay. This over here that's kind of sticky is our that's our shiny blue one we had in the beginning. And if it gets too much on your toothpick, you can use your fingers. All right, so over here I've got some cool colors swirling. So now I'm gonna take my white paper and I'm just gonna place it over the top. Hopefully it's gonna get all my colors on it. So you press it down for a minute and when you lift it up, you have some really cool marbled paper. So I'm gonna do a couple more of these. You can see what a couple more look like. All right, so through some experimentation, we have found that it may be helpful to have a second set of hands help you with this. So I have my sister here to help me and we're both gonna drop the colors in to move a little quicker. So we've got some green, some purple coming in. I really liked the orange from last time. All right, now that we have all these colors, I'm gonna take my toothpick again and I'm gonna drag it through some of these colors. I'm going kind of lightly this dark green color was really cool. Pull him around like that. You can go through the middle. You can do whatever you want at this part. Now I'm going to take my white paper again. And I'm going to press it right in. Remember, it's okay if it gets wet. We're going to let it dry. If it's drippy, that's fine. All right, that one turned out great. All right, so with my completed artwork, I'm gonna send two cards. So I have a fun piece of paper. You could use any kind of paper for this part. It's just the card. So I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut right down the middle. I'm gonna take one and I'm gonna fold it in half, just like this. See, now I've got a little card and I'm gonna do the same thing with my other one. All right. Now I'm gonna choose my two favorite prints that I made. So I think I'm gonna do the first black one that you made. So you can see it a little bit better now with all the rainbow colors. So I'm gonna put that right in the middle of my card like this. Now this is the part that you can use tape or glue stick. I am gonna use tape. You wanna make sure that your paper is dry. So this is the first one I did, so it's dry already. So I'm just gonna put some tape on the back here. And I'm gonna put it right in the middle of my card. Looks like I need one more piece of tape. All right, so here is my really cool card. And then I'm gonna get a pen think I'm gonna write anything on the outside where I could write hello you could write hello you could write miss you I'm gonna write mine to my aunt Gayla so I'm gonna open up my card like this and I'm gonna write her a little note you could draw you could have your parents write a note My first card is done. So I've got this one. I'm gonna set it over here. 
And now I'm gonna find my other one that I really liked. I really liked the last one that we did. So I'll bring it closer so you can see it. It's got all these cool colors on it. There's some glitter. So this was a really good one. So I'm gonna put it right in the middle. And same thing. This one I'm gonna tape on the front. So my card looks like this. This one, I don't have a lot of room on the top or the bottom, so I'm not gonna write anything on the outside. It's just gonna be my artwork. On the inside, maybe this one, I'm gonna write to Miss Leslie. So I'm gonna write, hi, Miss Leslie. And then I'm gonna tell her about my day or maybe what I miss about Miss Leslie. So I'm gonna write that in the middle. And then at the bottom, I'm gonna sign my name. So I'm gonna write, from Rosie. All right, so now I have my two completed cards. So then you can have an adult help you. You can put these in an envelope and put a little stamp on it and they can help you write the address and hopefully you send it to someone. They're gonna be so happy to see your awesome artwork. So I'll give you a close up of my two and how they look. So this is the black one. See, it's got that rainbow effect to it. And this is my marble one. So I'm gonna mail these out today and they'll be happy to get them in the mail. And remember, if there's any supplies that you don't have for this project, Miss Amy and I will set it out on the front porch. You could email Miss Amy or text her and we can set anything out. We have paper, toothpicks, we have plenty of nail polish in this house, so we'll be happy to share it.